Hi everybody, good morning. Welcome to GFP Live. Let's get YouTube going. Here we go. Happy Wednesday, we're here. GFP Live, we're ready to go. What's up YouTube? YouTube, we're live. Good morning everybody. Log in, log in. Let's get started, guys. Happy Wednesday. It's a beautiful day. Let's open some windows. Let's get the fresh air and sunshine in. And let's get moving. Come on. Who's with me? We got the best day of the year coming at you right here. 75 degrees, sunny, fresh, beautiful air. We're going to have a great day, guys. Great workout, too, coming at you. So, we're going to get started in 30 seconds. Just make sure you have your space cleared out for our warm-up and you have your equipment with you. You got your water. All right, get all the things because we're going to start in 30 seconds with our warm-up. We'll let everybody log in. Who's working out with me today? We got a great, great workout. This is, I always say this, but this is one of my favorites. We're gonna get started, guys, in 30 seconds. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Jolene. How you guys doing? Good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's get warm up. All right, let's go starting out with our nice wide reach with our arms. We'll start with shoulders so let's just give it a hug reach out give it a hug reach out here we go come on big reaches big reaches has anybody been outside yet today i like poked my head out and i have all my windows open in here it is gorgeous gorgeous i'm so excited it makes my day when we have good weather all right guys side stretches so we're gonna just take a simple tap out to the side right foot tap to the side big reach over kind of lean to your left right arm comes over and then switch just an easy tap tap to the left with your foot reach the left up to the right and switch tap and switch and tap and switch and tap and switch, kind of get your hip bone, kind of pop that hip bone out so you get that nice stretch. Two more each side, here we go. Right side, big reach. Left side, big reach. Right side, big reach. Left side, big reach. There we go, arms down. Let's do some shoulder rolls. So keep your hands low and we're gonna roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders back, feels so good. Open up the chest. Nice big breaths, nice big breaths. There we go. Couple more, big roll back. Squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze the shoulder blades. And good, drop those hands all the way. Let's go big reach up. And we're gonna bend our knees this time, sweep the floor, and then come on up. This is the big, when you go down, grab that laundry basket and come back up. That's that movement. Big reach, big sweep. Grab the laundry basket, two more. Big squat, bend all the joints. So we're bending the knees, bending the ankles, coming down, grab, and up. Nice job, guys. Let's do a little butterfly with our arms now. So I like to go arms up, thumbs back, and then reach back behind, make wings, and stack behind your back. Feels really good on the shoulders. Wings, 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 and stack two more. Big reach. And all the way around and stack one more. Big reach, big reach, big reach and stack. Let's stack and keep your hands behind and I'm feeling neck a little bit today. So let's just do a quick neck. Keeping your arms stacked behind your back if it feels good. You're gonna go chin to chest, up and down. Look up, nice and easy. Look up and down, up. And down, and then last one, up and down, keep it down, and let's just do semicircles. Keep your hands back behind you if you can. Circle to the left, circle to the right. 
do that like three or four times, guys. Go slow at your own pace. Take your time. Everybody might have a little stiffness in their neck. After your three or four semicircles, let's come up. Let's reach our hands down to the floor. So I'm reaching my fingertips down to the floor. And I'm just going to go ear to shoulder. So left to left, right to right. And I'm reaching my fingertips down to the floor so I feel a little bit more of a stretch. So I've got a little side neck stretch there. If you reach your hand, your opposite hand, you're going to feel that stretch a little bit more. Two more, one on each side. And relax, good. Shake out those arms, shake out that neck. And let's go, a little hug with the ankle roll. Knee hug with the ankle roll. Good, let's do three on each side. Big hug, big hug. There we go. All right, guys, let's get it moving. I wanna go for a little jog, so start those feet going side to side or pick them up off the floor, whatever feels good to you. Get those feet moving, jog it out, jog it out. You can pump those arms, pump those arms. There we go, let's get the heat building, let's get the sweat going a little bit. That's it, nice job, guys. Jog it out, about 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna go some high knees with a lat pull down, you know, the aerobics version of high knees. Come on, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Get those arms up and bring it down to the knees. So you're gonna march and pull down, march and pull down. There we go. We get that whole body moving. If it's hard to do both at the same time, just start with the knees coming up and then later add the arms, all right? So just make sure you're getting those knees up, 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 up. Let's go 10 more seconds. Our next one is gonna be a nice little jumping jack or half jack, okay guys? Five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. And I like to start with the half jack, nice and slow. You guys can do full if you want to. Let's go, let's go. Get those arms up above your head. Pop the legs out there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Next one's gonna be a little snap down, okay? So just like you're slamming a ball, we're gonna do a pretend ball slam. All right, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and reach up, plant your feet, and then you're popping it down. So almost like you're throwing a big ball, big heavy medicine ball into the floor. I'm coming up to my toes and I'm slamming it down. And then just be repetitive and be good with the form so my hips are coming back. Let's slam it five more times. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, rest, come up nice and tall, Frankenstein walk. So we're going to kick up and switch. Kick up and switch, there we go. Kick up and switch, keep going. Side to side, side to side, side to side. Doesn't matter how high you kick, I'd rather be straight. So even if it's low or not as high as my foot is coming up, you keep it straight and just do you, all right? Kick as high or as straight as you can. Five more, four, three, two, one, and then rest. And I wanna do the last one is our hamstring curl. So we're gonna pull our heel back to our butt, so you just step to the side, kick. Step, kick, step, kick, there we go. Kicking my heel back to my glute, just moving side to side, alternate. And then if you wanna get those arms in there, I like to pull my elbows back, right? Aerobics, let's go. 1984, come on. That's it, let's go, let's go, let's go. Pull it, pull it. Pull that good, two more, three more, and rest. Good job, guys, let's go back to the jog. So we're gonna jog it out. We'll go all through those movements again, just like 10 seconds each, all right? So jog it, jog it, jog it, jog it. Looking good. From here, we're gonna do the high knees. Ready, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Get those knees up, up, up. Up, you can skip or march and then add the arms if you want to. Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Snap downs are next. Let's go. Arms up. 
Snap it down. One, two, three, four. Just getting those hips back a little bit. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go jumping jacks. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Frankenstein walks her next. Let's go up. Kick it out. One, one, two, two. Keep going. Three, three. We're going to ten. Four, four. Keep it straight, straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And right to those hamstring curls. Here we go, side to side. Ten seconds. You can get a little bouncy if you want to. You don't have to, just make sure you keep those heels way back to your hips. Kick it back, kick it back, kick it back. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Slow your roll, bring it down nice and easy. All right, nice job guys. Hopefully you get that heart rate up a little bit and we're breathing a bit more. Let's reach up and come down and we're just gonna fold over legs straight. Let's go two good toe touches with a squat. So we're gonna hang out here for a second, nice and slow. Keep those legs straight, and then breathe, take a squat. So bend, push those knees out, squat, reach, and stand. Do that one more time. Take your time, make it good. Toes, breathe here, keep your legs straight. And breathe, squat, bend those knees, push the knees out, reach, and stand. Very nice. Now we're gonna go lateral lunges so i want you guys to get your feet super wide good morning good morning let's go super wide with our toes and we're gonna go side to side let's go three on each side take your time again sit into it get that stretch that's one sit into it that's two and this is three nice get that inside of the leg stretch out bye Good, and then once you got three or four, walk it up. Let's go down to downward facing dog. Okay, guys? And we're gonna go down facing dog. Hold that position. Don't go back to the push up position. I want you to hold that position. And I want you to do an elbow or a toe touch, a toe touch. And then lower yourself down slow to the ground. So just one touch per toe. And then scoop up to a cobra pose after you lowered yourself down. And then come back up. And then do it again. Down dog. Hold that. Toe touch. Toe touch. Then bring it to push up. Lower down slow. And scoop. Let's do that two more times, guys. Push up to push up. Go down dog. Toe touch, toe touch, then push up position, lower slow, scoop up. Very nice. Do it one more time. Toe touch, toe touch, and lower slow and scoop it up. Very good, guys. Come up to all fours. Then you're going to come up to a half kneeling position. And we're gonna do some reaches with a hip flexor rock. So I want you to lock your hip in place, squeeze the glute back, and then we're going to just gently reach up. As we reach, we're rocking forward just a little bit. Remember, you don't wanna arch the low back, so we're just moving our whole bodies forward. Let's do five, rock and reach. Woo! And then once you've gotten five on that side, switch sides. Again, we're going to rock and reach, lock your hips in place. So you got to kind of pull your pelvis underneath you, squeeze your glutes, big reach up five times. Very good. After you get five of those, we're going to go right into stand up. I want to do a little T-spine work standing. So we're going to widen out our feet, toes straight ahead. Take a hinge, so right at your hip, uh, hinge forward and then drop those arms in front of you where you're gonna keep, you can bend your knees or keep them straight, open to the right, and then switch, open to the left, turn and look at your hands. Let's go four on each side. Breathe and try to rotate as much as you can without tilting that low back or those hips. 
follow your hand with your eyes. And after you get four on each side, you're gonna make your way to stand up, hands behind your head. And let's go 10 goblet, or not goblet, 10 prisoner style squats. Down and up. Get 10 of them. Make sure your patterning is good. Knees out, hips back. After you get 10 of these, stand on up. Yes, good. And we're gonna get moving. 10 second sprint with me, guys. Choppy steps in place fast as you can. Get ready, get set, and go. 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then we're gonna do a reverse lunge with a reach. Big reach up, step back, one. One, get five on each side, two. Two, you can do split squats if you want to. Just get that reach. Good, get five on each side. After you get five on each side, I want you to go right to that sprint again for 10 seconds. Get ready, get set, and go. 10 seconds, go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then we're gonna go bend and snap. So just like an RDL or a deadlift, we're gonna reach our hips back, but we're gonna reach our hands above our head out in front of us, and then snap up. Just like a kettlebell deadlift, same thing you're doing with the hips or swing, kettlebell swing. 10 times, guys, get 10 of them. Five, six, seven, eight, hips back, nine, 10, right to your sprint, last sprint, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then give me five jumping jack squats, let's go. Out, and you can step if you want instead of jumping. Just five of them, get five, good ones. And then we are ready to go. All right, finish those squats, get a drink, and here we go. I will get my whiteboard for you guys. Today we have an excellent workout. It's the four minute set, okay? We're doing a four minute set pairs of exercises so we have a1 and a2 first we're going to do four minutes continuously moving so we're going to go from a1 to a2 and a1 to a2 again so no rest each one is 30 seconds and you just try to transition as smoothly as you can okay between the two for four minutes straight does that make sense so we're going to go first set a1 for 30 seconds we're going to do a press any kind of press or a push-up any kind of push-up okay then for 30 seconds i'll call it out guys when the 30 seconds is over you're going to go right to a hinge or a bridge okay and then after 30 seconds of that we're going to go right to 30 seconds back to the press so again like back and forth no rest for four minutes we're just moving different patterns for four minutes okay so for the first press, you can do a floor press, you can do a bench press, you can do an overhead dumbbell press, you can do a push-up. I'm gonna show you a bit of a different push-up that's almost like a shoulder press instead of a regular push-up that's more chest and lats. This one's gonna be more shoulders. And then I'm gonna do a banded bridge for my hinging movement. So I'm gonna stick with the bridges to make it an easy transition on the floor. So pick two things that you know you can quickly switch back and forth. I'll show you what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna take a band for my bridges. So if you need bands or dumbbells, grab those. And for my press or my push-up, I'm not gonna need anything. I'm just gonna go body weight. And what we need for this is, so you can do the regular push-up. I'm gonna do more of a shoulder push-up. So I'm gonna be doing a push up that looks like this. I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna come back, my hips come back like this, and I'm gonna come down to the floor and press back. Down to the floor and press back. So I have more of a overhead pressing movement with that type of a push up. It's just a different way to do a shoulder press, right? So I'm gonna to stick to that way. You can try it if you want. If that, if you do not like, if your shoulders do not like overhead movements, 
I would not try that one, okay? But this, I'm just showing you this for another variation, okay? So if you have shoulder um, impingement or anything like that, do not go overhead, but you can do a regular push-up if that feels good for you, okay? Or, so, or an incline push-up. So here we go. We're gonna go four minutes straight through. I'm gonna get my timer set. Where is it? Four minute B sets. All right, 30, 30. So we're gonna switch back and forth as fast as we can with the transition. We're starting with our press or our push up. Get ready, get set. Let me put it over here. Maybe you guys can see that better. Can you see the timer there? I don't know if you can see the numbers, but it's green, so that means go. All right, get ready, get set, and go. Here we go, first one, pressing. I'm gonna get my shoulder press going. So I'm pushing my hips back behind me, back, back, 30 seconds. We can get plenty amount of reps here, so make sure your form is good, you're taking your time. Let's go, five seconds left, three, two, one, nice. Ooh, I'll be feeling those shoulders later. Right to the bridge of the hinge, guys. Let's go. Right to the bridge of the hinge. I'm doing double leg bridges, squeezing at the top with my band. Come on, as many as we can. If you're going light, all good. Get some reps. If you're going heavy, if you're going some hinging, maybe RDLs or deadlifts. Let's go. Three, two, one, good, switch. Back to the press right away, right away. Here we go. You can do the same press as me or you can do a different one. This is tough, I'm not gonna lie. Come on guys. Getting creative with the body weight movements. Keep going, three, two, one. Shoulders are gonna be smoked. Let's go, bridges or hinges, guys. Switch it, let's go. Up, up. If you're hinging, make sure you get your hips back. Make sure you're grounding your feet. Whatever you do, squeeze the glutes. Push through the feet. Let's go, glutes and shoulders today. Glutes and shoulders. Woo, three, two, one. Switch it back. Switch it back, let's go. Pressing. This is tough. Keep going guys, we got it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, good. Come back to bridges. This is cardio, guys. We got cardio going here. Let's go, reps. Make sure we're doing good reps. Make sure you guys can see me. Let's go. Push those knees out. Don't let the knees cave. Let's do it. Squeeze those glutes. Come on, guys. Almost there, three, two, one, good, switch it back, last round, last round, number four. If you're doing these push-ups with me, it's kind of like a slide forward, slide back movement. Making sure I'm feeling like I'm pushing overhead, pushing overhead. It's hard, woo, let's go. Three, two, one, switch it, switch it, switch it. Let's go. Last one, make it good. Last one, then a quick sip of water. Come on, push, 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 let's go. Make it smooth, let's go. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those glutes. A lot of reps for me. If you're going heavy, less reps. Focus on form, let's go. Three. Two, one, nice job, you guys. Nice job. Get a quick drink. We're gonna go one minute in between, so chop, chop, get a drink. 
Get a drink. Feels so good to have some fresh air, doesn't it? Oh, man. All right, guys. So our next set, while you're drinking or resting, catch your breath. We're going to squat and row, okay? So we'll start with our row. We can do a bent over row. We can do an arm supported row. So use a bench. You can do one arm at a time if you want. You can do every other set and switch arms. You can do both arms and then we're gonna squat with it, okay? So any kind of squat, I think I'm just gonna hold my dumbbell in front of me and I'm gonna do like a front squat or a goblet squat, okay? As many reps as you can and then back to the row. Row, squat, row, squat, row, squat, okay? So. Let's take one more sip of water, breathe a little bit, and then we're going to go rolling and squatting. So for me, guys, I'm going to do the double arm, two arm row with my dumbbells here bent over. That's how I'm going to start mine out. I'm going to try and get as many reps as I can with good form. I'm going to hold it at the top for a second because these are a little light. These are tense. Um, and then we're gonna go with a squat. So I'm gonna then grab my dumbbell and I'm gonna hold my dumbbell in front like this or goblet style and I'm gonna do good old front squats. Okay guys, any kind of squat works. All right, if squat hurts you, switch it around, do something else. You can do a step up, you can do a bridge, okay? Everybody's good, everybody's ready. You're looking good, you two. Oh yeah, all right guys, here we go. Thumbs up, ready to go, get set. Start with your row, and go. Come on, 30 seconds, make them good. So mine, I'm gonna pull and hold, and then let it go. Pull and hold, and then let it go. And I'm gonna get as many reps as I can like that. I got that hinge forward. If you guys want, you can lean on something, do one arm at a time. It's all good, however you wanna do it. Let's go. We're moving. We're moving. Let's go. Five seconds more. Three, two, one. Good. Right to the squat. No time to waste. Right away. Here we go. Down and up. Again, make sure we're getting lots of reps, but we're good form. Push those knees out. Use your feet. Press it up. Let's go. I'm going to start speeding up because I want to get more reps here. Speed is okay to go up or down, change the tempo. Let's go. Push through those knees though, don't let those knees cave in. Three, two, one, yeah. Good job guys, switch it right away. Right away, don't waste time. We wanna get those reps, let's go. Come on guys, we're gonna feel our glutes on this one. If you're leaning forward like I am, you are gonna feel it. Come on, all the feels today. Make sure we're hinged over really, really far, guys. Hinge it. Keep your hips back, keep your chest up. Two, one, right back to that squat, let's go. Make sure when you're switching weights, if you're picking them up off the ground, just be careful. All right, I said quick transition, but you don't wanna go so quick that you have bad form picking stuff up the front off the ground. Keep moving. Good form, whatever we do, good form. Come on. Push up. Stand up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Back to the row number three. Let's go. Pick them up. Let's row. Let's see if we can get well, at least 20 reps. I don't know. 10 seconds left. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, perfect. Go back to the squat. Nice and easy. Pick that weight up. If you don't have weights, that's cool too. Body weight stuff is good too. You can always do a jump here. You can do a squat to toes. Let's go. All the way up, stand up. All the way up, stand up, let's go. Abs tight too, abs tight. <sighs> Breathe with it. <sighs> Three, two, one, switch it. 
Woo, one more set, guys. One more set. Get rowing. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna bend over with both feet underneath me now. Woo, 10 seconds. Seven, five, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Right to the squat. Let's go. Last squat. Make it good. Big breaths. When you stand up, breathe out. Breathe on the up. Let's go. Make them good. Abs tight. Seven seconds. Four, three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Lower that weight down. Grab a drink. Four minutes goes by fast when you're having fun. Doesn't it, though? Where's my water? Grab a drink, guys. Great job. Great job. Now we're going to go to the next one, number three. Number three. We got good old arms and abs. Arms and abs. So C1, C2, same setup. I'll show you what I'm going to have in mind for this one. You can pick any kind of arms that you want to do. Triceps, biceps, shoulders. You can even do an upper back one if you'd rather, okay? So maybe like a band pull apart would be an example of an upper back. But for me, I'm gonna do triceps today. I'm gonna show you how to do a French press with the band. And then I'm gonna go down for abs. I'm gonna do just a nice little plank with a reach. So push-up style plank with a reach overhead. You can do any kind of abs that you want. Again, guys, so make up your mind on what you wanna do. Straight leg sit-ups are always good. A good dead bug is always good for abs. Triceps, real quick. So I like to use bands a lot, okay? Triceps, so a French press is one of these ones overhead. So again, you need upper, upper body mobility. If over, overhead mobility hurts for you, don't do this one. You can do a kickback instead for triceps, okay? But if you can go overhead, a good variation with the band is to step on your band with your heel. So I have the band underneath the middle of my foot. I'm making sure my heel is down. And then I have the band be gonna go behind me, okay? So I'm gonna bring the band behind and grab behind my head both sides. And then there we go, we have a good old French press. We're gonna straighten at the top over our heads. And you can have one foot in front so you have a little forward lean. And I'm gonna straighten and extend, extend and bend. YouTube, I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. So you guys, I have the band hooked to the bottom of my foot. There is no way that band is getting away from me. You can also do French press with a dumbbell, okay? But again, no need to do it overhead if you have overhead pain in the shoulders, okay? So you can do a kickback with the band in front of it. You can do a dumbbell kickback, okay? You guys know all the variations. Don't do anything that hurts, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do the tricep with the bands. Then I'm gonna do a overhead reach with my push-up position, okay? So just like that, I'm gonna make sure I'm not letting my hips tilt. 30-30, everybody ready? Let's get this thing going, because we're gonna go back through. You know it. Okay, get set, starting with the band, with the arms. Get set and go. Make sure you get that set up the right way. Let's do this. A lot of reps here. If you have a band, squeeze and straighten. If you're doing triceps, let's go. Let's go. A lot of reps for me. You can always do a skull crusher here too. That's always a good one as well. Come on, guys. Five seconds. We got it. Three, two, one. One, woo, feel the burn, feel the burn. I'm going right down for my plank. Any kind of abs you guys want. And I'm just reaching, reaching, reaching. Keep it tight, keeping it solid. Don't let those hips move. So that's where my focus is. Tight abs, tight hips, not letting them go anywhere. Let's go, five seconds. 
three, two, one. Nice, pop up. Let's go, triceps or arms again. Arms again. Ooh, this takes a second to get into. There we go. Come on, triceps, triceps. Woo! Burning. Eight seconds, guys. Make sure you have good posture with your neck, right? Four, three, two, woo! One, go right to the abs, let's go. I'll be feeling those arms today. Keep it tight, guys. Whichever kind of variation you're doing, abs, any kind of ab exercise, it's all about control. You wanna be able to control your body. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one, yes. Switch it, round three. Let's go. A lot of reps, guys, let's go. All about the arms. 10 seconds, keep going, you got this. Woo, five, four, Three, two, one, nice. Right to the abs. Let's go. Concentrate on this one. Breathe through the brace, guys. Nice, tight abs, breathe through it. Keep going. Don't let those hips move if you're planking. Three, two, one. Right back to triceps. I gotta switch my band. Whoo, the triceps are getting worked. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is too easy. If it's too easy, grab lower, guys. If you're doing the band ones, grab lower. That makes you have a heavier band. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going all the way to the end. Three, two, one. Rest right to abs. Last abs, make it good. Best effort. Come on, come on. Stay tight, stay tight. Plenty of time for some more guys. So we're gonna go back through, back through, all over again. Now you guys can change your variations or you can keep them the same. Okay, I might change a few of mine. Woo! So I'm gonna try that push up again that we did in the beginning, but I'm feeling those shoulders. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, okay? So remember our first set, we're going back to that one. Pressing and hinging. Pressing and hinging. All right, guys, so for my hinge, I might do a little uh, deadlift RDL, okay? Instead of the bridges, I'm gonna switch mine up. I'm gonna stick to those push-ups though, okay, guys? So let's see how it goes. Let's get it going, you all ready? Get your weights that you need and get set. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds on. Ready, get set. And go, press or push up, press or push up. Let's get good reps, good reps. Well, 
What can we call these kind of push-up, guys? We need a name. Down dog push-up. It's not really a down dog. Three, two, one, rest. Right to the hinge, guys. I'm just gonna use my little dumbbell here, and I'm gonna go down and up, hinge, like a deadlift. Let's go, lots of reps. Screw those feet into the floor. Those toes are down, those heels are down, and I'm almost like I have roots into the ground with my feet. Boom, push up, squeeze those glutes, get tall. Three, two, one, back to those push-ups. Woo, or press, or press, you could be pressing. Shoulders are gonna get so tired. Come on, guys, fight the burn. Three, two, one. Shake it out, go right to the hinge. Come on, hinging it up. Let's go, good posture. Nice packed neck, right? Make a double chin. That's how tight your neck's gonna be. Eyes down, eyes up. If you're bridging, you got your head against the floor, so you're good. Let's go. Push up, squeeze those glutes. Three, two, one. Back to press. Let's go. Press it. Press it. Let's go. How many reps are you guys getting? Come on. Keep working. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Woo. Back up. Come on. Up, up, up. Let's go. Hinge. Right to it. Keep going, guys. Transition is the cardio part of this. You got to be up, down, up, down. Unless you're on your back and you're smart. Stay in a bridge position the whole time. Three, two, one. One more set. Let's go. We got this. Come on. Keep pressing, guys. To the last second. Five more. Three, two, one. Woo! One more hinge. Let's go. Let's go, hinge or bridge. Push with those heels. Good posture, right guys? If you're bridging, don't come up too high that you're arching your back. Back strong, low back strong. You should feel it in the hammies and glutes. Three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Nice work. Next, squat and row. I'm gonna go body weight squat with a little up to my toes, okay? And then we're gonna row. So I'm gonna do the same row that I did before. You guys can do any variation you want. Grab a drink quick, and then we're gonna go back in. Hope everybody's doing good. Woo, getting a good workout today. All right? Finish up your drinks, and we're gonna go in 30 seconds, guys, 30 seconds. So like I said, I'm gonna go body weight. I'm gonna use my handy dandy glute loop band. If you guys have one of these, these are like gold, right? So good for a lot of things. So I'm gonna put mine around my knees and just go body weight squats, okay? I might come up to my toes a little bit for a little extra power at the top, okay? Then I'm gonna go right to my row. So I'm just gonna keep my band around my knees if you have one of these babies, you can do the same. Okay, so a little glute loop action. I like the glute loop on the squat because it forces me to push my knees out, right? So sometimes I need a little help with that. 
So that's a good way to do it if you have something around your knees. All y'all ready? Let me get some weights. I'm gonna go wait for my rows. You guys can use bands for rows too. Really good option. A lot of times I'll take my band, hook it under my foot, and you can do a bent over banded row. Bands are so good. You know I love bands. All right, guys, let's get this party started. Ready? Get set. We're gonna row first and go. Row is first. Row is first. Let's go. Come on, pull it at the top, maybe hold it for a second. Little hold is always good. Make sure you get those shoulders, upper back I mean working. Upper back, let's go. Three, two, one, right to squat. So I'm gonna draw my weight and I'm just gonna go up and down. I'm gonna come up to my toes, right back down. Good squats guys, good squats. Pushing the knees out. Come on. Lots of reps. Let's do it. Push those knees out. Three, two, one. Right back to that row. Come on. I'm doing a staggered stance bent over row, guys. You can do parallel. But staggered just means I have one foot in front of the other and I'm hinging that way. That kind of hinge feels better for me. Do what feels good for you. Come on guys, 10 seconds. Keep it going. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good job, squat it. Let's go, squats. Really important on these squats, you keep your neck packed too. Don't forget neck position is important so if i look up at you guys i don't like that it doesn't feel good i'm gonna keep my eyes on the ground Whew. there we go got my eyes about two feet in front of me three feet in front of me three two one back to the row let's go 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 pull and hold we got this guys come on 30 seconds is nothing 30 seconds got nothing on us. Let's go. Do it. 10 seconds left. Pull those elbows to the ceiling. Four, three, two, one. Squat it. Let's go. Squat city. Good reps. Good reps. Get those hips back. And down. And push out the knees. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Body weight's hard too. You don't even need any weights. Let's get good reps. Just as good. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. One more set. This is it, right? Number four. Come on, guys. We got this. Push through it. Push through it. We can do it. Let's go. Don't stop moving yet. Ten seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. One more squat. Let's go. Push them out. How many we got? And this is eight for me. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Come on, keep going. 10 seconds. This is 19, 20. We got three, two, one. Woo, 23 squats right there. Good job, guys. Woo, shake it out, get a drink. We got one more set to do, guys. One more set to do. Grab a drink. Pat down the sweat. <laughs> you guys are doing great, doing great. Remember, the last one, arms and abs. Arms and abs, so pick something. Pick something 
I might do a little bent over triceps this time. I'm gonna do with my with my weights. And then I'm gonna do straight up, straight legs sit up, straight up, straight up, coming at you. All right, guys, so you guys, remember, triceps, biceps, anything. You guys ready? No time to waste. Let's do this. Little break, take a breath. Finish your water, put it down. Get ready, arms first. Get sit. And go. Triceps, biceps, anything you want, steps. Let's go. Squeeze, if you're doing a kickback, you can do both or you can do one at the same time. Same thing with biceps, you can do alternating biceps, both at the same time. Let's go. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going straight down to the ground, straight leg sit up. I'm peeling up on these. Again, abs, control yourself, come on. Control it. You are in control. So make sure you're going slow. You're not being like a floppy flop on the wall on the floor. Control. Down nice and easy. Three, two, one. Back to those triceps or biceps. Let's go. Ooh, my arms are smoked today, you guys. I don't know. This was an arm one for me today. Arm heavy. Let's do it. Come on. Finish strong. No giving up. No stopping. Five, four, three, two, one. Right back to abs. Let's go. Why is getting down on the floor and up so hard? <laughs> it's so hard, guys. Down and up. That's all it is. Let's go, guys. Get reps, but make sure they're good. 10 seconds left. We got this. Come on. Three, two, one. Nice work, triceps. Go back, go back. Let's go. Hit it. Let's get those arms moving. Straighten and squeeze. If you're doing triceps, straighten and squeeze. Straighten and squeeze. Make sure you get that slight pause and squeeze. Woo! If you're doing biceps, make sure you straighten all the way out, all the way up. All the way out, all the way up. Three, two, one. Nice work. Let's go. Straight legs sit up. Or any kind of abs you want. We're almost there, guys. Hang in and do a good job. This guy, straighten it out. Let's go. Straighten it out. 10 seconds. Hang in, hang in. We got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Last abs. Let's go. Make it good. Concentrate. If you're sitting up, make sure you sit up nice and tall. Let's go, last 15. We got it, we got it, 10, six, five, push it to the very last second, guys. Three, two, one. Woo-wee, we are done. Nice work, guys. Woo, breathe, get a drink, and we're gonna stretch it out today. We're gonna stretch it out a little bit for our finisher today. So get a quick drink of water. Dab the glistening. Great job, guys. I don't know why, that was a toughie today. I'm feeling it. 
I'm feeling it. Maybe I'm still feeling it from Monday. Good work. Okay. So once we get to our breath, let's come down to the floor, guys. Let's just get a little stretch going today. We got a couple minutes. And I just want to start by just bringing it back to your back. And you can hold your knees like this. You can keep your feet on the floor. Let's take a couple big belly breaths. Let's do like five in and outs. Breathe, breathe through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do that first. Nice big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Couple more. This is the best way to recover real quick is to breathe. A nice big belly breath. You can have your hands on your belly if you want to. Fill that belly with air or make sure you're letting it expand out. Good. After a couple of those breaths, let's do a little sideline windmill. So this is like a full body stretch, guys. You want to roll to your side. And if you would like to have something under your head, you can have a pillow or a rolled up towel, or you could just lay on your arm, right? We're gonna go knees stacked in front of you, and then top arm is out like this. So we're gonna do just a little bit of a, a kind of sweep around your head. And if it feels better to have your knees back here, that's fine, whatever feels better for you. We're gonna sweep around and try to go around our body like that, and then come up back across. Okay, Just sweep around, and if the sweeping around does not feel good, you can just go across, and we're just opening our chest up to the ceiling, and then coming back, and then opening the chest up to the ceiling, breathe and come back, and let's do that five times, and then we're going to switch sides, guys, breathe back and then all you want to do is switch so flip flop your legs so sorry I'm facing away from the camera but knees in front of you arms stacked and then open to this side so we're just sweeping around one get four or five exhale big one side might feel tighter than the other that's totally normal after you get five of those we're gonna take a sit up so come up to your butt and we can take a seated position. Good. Come up to your butt. Take a seated position. And we're just going to do a really quick glute flow. So bring your legs to a 90-90. So that means your front knee is at 90 degrees and your back knee is about 90 degrees behind you. Okay. And we're just going to put hand in front, hands in front of your front leg. And then just dive forward or bow forward. And then kind of push your lift back up. Bow forward, breathe. You should feel that in your hip in front. And then come back up. Let's do that four times. Big bow, four or five. And come back up. And you can walk your hands out a little bit in front of you. Breathe. And come back up and then switch sides. So all you have to do is flip your legs. I'm gonna flip around so you guys, I'm not facing away, but you can just flip the other way, guys. And 90, 90 on the other side. So hands in front, bow forward, nice big breath. And then push back up. And bow forward. Breathe out as you bow. And you might not go as far forward as me, or you might be like touching the floor. That's all good. Whatever, wherever you're at with your hips is fine. Good job, guys. And then we're gonna take a nice up position. Bring your foot in front a little closer to the other leg, and walk behind with your hands. Come down to your elbow. We're gonna do a seated lat stretch. So I have my back elbow down, and my legs like that. I'm gonna just reach over my head. Nice big breath. Try to look at your hand or look behind you. Open up that side body. Guys, soon. Have a great, great day. Go enjoy. Go take a walk outside. Bye.